Here to explain what we can't take onto aircraft is Superintendent Craig Walker of the Australian Federal Police. All, all these are items that have been confiscated. Yeah, many of the items that, that we'll look at in a, in a moment have been confiscated. Nails. They look like they'd be pretty simple to forget. Many of these items, tradesmen, chefs, cooks, have in their normal day-to-day uh, -day business, things like um, chef's knives, tools, hammers. They deal with these items every day, um, but might not necessarily understand that they're not items that can go on board an aircraft because potentially they threaten the safety of the travelling public uh, and the crew. Now, firearms are perfectly legal in most circumstances. In some circumstances, yes, but uh, when we're talking about uh, bringing these items on board an aircraft, they are prohibited weapons. Uh, they can't go in the, at the cabin uh, of an aircraft. And that even gets down to parts. Even one part of a firearm can't go on board uh, the, the cabin of the aircraft. Not even an empty shell casing? The regulations are, are quite specific in relation to any part of a firearm. That includes the ammunition. Um, and we do have instances where um, ammunition forms part of a souvenir. Uh, key rings, for example. Even though the, it might be a souvenir, um, it is still uh, classed as a prohibited weapon. Replica firearms uh, could be uh, construed as a real firearm. Clearly some items, Superintendent, are just downright illegal. The majority of the items that you're seeing here, um, of course depending on the state or, or territory jurisdiction, would be classed as prohibited weapons um, and absolutely not, um, not permitted on board. If you are found with these items uh, at, at a screening point uh, at an airport, um, that will involve uh, a police attendance and, um, and, and inquiries in relation to uh, why you've got that particular item. Now, the, the, some people carry um, items for their own protection. For example, um, capsicum spray. But again, in Australia, depending on your state or territory legislation, they are going to be, in the majority of circumstances, prohibited weapons. What about martial arts equipment? Items such as, such as this, a martial art, um, uh, uh, weapon, definitely not something you can take on board uh, the cabin of an aircraft. Depending on the legislation, it may be an item that you're legitimately able to have. The best thing to do is consult um, with, uh, with the airline, read your travel documentation, which provides excellent advice about what you can and can't take on board an aircraft as hold luggage or cabin luggage. And there's some very detailed guidance up on the Department of uh, Transport and Infrastructure's website about dangerous goods, prohibited items, um, what you can and can't take on board an aircraft.